you guys have to want that for yourself. You just sit there and do like that. Yeah, you might be able to beat him, but realistically in the game, it's for the guys. Somebody else has to be the guy that doesn't miss. That's what bridges the gap. Somebody has to do it. Somebody has to lead. Somebody has to be bold. Somebody has to be energetic. Somebody has to play with that, that, that fire and that focus because it's contagious. When one person's doing it, everybody feeds on that. But that's what it's all about. You're achieving things that you never thought you could imagine. So we at what, Gulliver? This is gonna be a special one, man. We got a every day who's been an every day since he's been playing high school. Since he's been playing basketball as a kid, uh, NBA legend. Brought me and Toro out here to shine light on his program. Heat legend, Celtic legend, Mr. Ray Allen himself, Coach Allen. We're gonna see what his teams talk about down here in South Florida. And for sure, Ray Allen's for sure every day, right, Toro? All right, Toro? <laughs> Let's get it. All right, the stretch. There goes IG. Like all of it, all of this is a huge, it's a challenge. It's, it's, it's to test what you have deep down inside of you. And if you get emotional every time we try to go there, you can't win. You can't compete. Chilling? Yep. How you doing? How you doing? Good? Yeah. Like this season. It's playing out pretty well. I mean, we had a couple setbacks against uh -huh. like our first game. We didn't have our players. This too. year, that's first year coach, right? Uh, yes, yeah, first. How year is it? Season. How is it with your dad as coach? I like it. I mean, I wouldn't want it any other way. I, know, I bet. Yeah. I bet. I know he probably teaches guys all the time, and it's probably different because he's coaching you your whole life. What's your expectations for this season coming up? To be one of the best teams in Florida for sure. Okay. Y'all yeah. got a young. Y'all got a young group. Yeah, we got a really young group. Who's a better like shooter, you or your dad? He, he's, 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 he's definitely, I, I'll give that to him. Not, I mean, I need two years for that. No, I'm saying that, he, he, his name holds his own weight. Does he take it easy? No, he doesn't take it easy on you. No. No, he doesn't play no. there. No. I guess car rides on the way back home get silent. I mean, I drive, so I'm so happy I've been in that age. Oh, man. But I know I remember two years ago, a year ago, car rides silent. You did this one, I gotta do that, you gotta do that. Okay, that's yeah. good, that's yeah. good. I know you probably enjoy it. And, Love that uh, you actually have, you know, Ryan as a dad and he can tell you about yourself. You know, I feel like sometimes some dads are leaning on their sons and stuff like that, but I know he don't play that shit yeah. with you. <laughs> I seen it even at the, um, when, I, when I first seen you guys at, at the, the overtime, OTE, yeah. at the OTE thing. Yeah. At the OTE, this man, he was barking at Yeah, he was yelling at everybody. <laughs> he was yelling yeah. at you, but that's good though. Like, you need people like that. You need coaches yeah. like that, especially your father figure like that. that that's good. Yeah. Again, thank you for having me and Toro here. We're excited. And let's see what you guys got, man. Yeah. It's going to be a vibe. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I'm RG. How you been? Nice to meet you too. I so see you heard you were killing. That's true. Gotta prove that a little bit more. Okay, okay, I like that, I like that. So how is it with um Ray Allen being your coach this year? It's been fun. Mm -hmm. I mean I, I know him from uh where I used to I came from Connecticut. So okay. Oh you came from C T? Yeah. Okay. So I used to go to a really small public school and this is your first year down here, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, first time. I like the experience. Um You like the weather. Yes. I love, it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. But um like him as a coach, yeah, uh, I like it a lot. It's like, it's like the first, the, he's really handing you the book to success. The book, I bet. I was just telling his son that, I mean, his son gets the book every day. So yeah. it's like, I know you, every everything he says, you take. Yeah. Especially that, that, all those, all that information can definitely help you in the next level. Exactly, yeah. So you kind of pick his brain, you ask questions. I, if I'm on this team, I'm asking questions out the ass. Like, it's every day, so yeah. I, I, except you got it now. But yeah, definitely, definitely a fun coach to be around. Mm -hmm. she, like, she likes to have fun with us. Yeah. So like. There'll be practices where you have to be strict and serious, but then there'll be practices where like, he'll actually pop in and like, do something. So, like, oh, for real? Like, he's still, he laces up? Yeah. Damn, oh my. Y'all got the cheat code like that? Yes. So guarding him is crazy. Like, you, yeah. he, 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 he always trying to come at me. What are you trying to come at me? So I'm going to ask him about act how do you go at him too? Yes, of course. I have Damn, y'all get to lace up. That's, to, that's, cold. that's amazing, honestly. Like, I wish you. Nothing beats that, to be honest. That's the yeah. you know NBA legend, Hall of Famer. Like yeah. nothing beats that. What's your goals this season? This season? Yeah. Um, as a team, for from well, I want give me a team one and give me an individual one. Okay, so a team one, I want to make to states, mm -hmm. make it to states. Okay. And at, at least contend. Mm -hmm. So um, I think we'll be able to do that. I mean, can look at Calgary, but like. That, that was definitely a waking up moment. The Calgary game? Okay. Yeah, it was definitely a waking up moment. That's good. I'll be telling guys, like, even, listen, like, the winning and the losses is learn through them, bro. Yeah, and sometimes exactly. them losses can turn you into a dog. You never know. You feel me? Yeah, like, I didn't play the way I wanted to play, but, like, then 
It's like, because I want to go to college and basketball, like, those type of kids you're going to see all the time. You're going to see now the Calvary has exactly. a high caliber player. So you can't, you can't sit in your room with your head down thinking like, oh, it's, it's all going to be bad. You got to be happy as hell you play people like that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. you don't really see that type of competition. Yeah. Even in the next level, you probably, these those guys can probably beat people in the next level. You feel exactly. me? Exactly. So. Yeah, so that team definitely states, and individually, I just want to get my name out there. Because so, coming from a small town, like, not many kids like me will take this opportunity to come down here. Okay. This far, like, it's, it's, it's a drive, it's a flight, like, you know. But, like, yeah, individually, just be that next level player. Okay, yeah, that's, so, hey, man, sky's the limit for you, my brother. Keep pushing. Um, I, like I told Ray, man, I appreciate you guys for having us, and we're going to check y'all out. We're going to see you again. My guy, Jay. Sanders, big dog, big dog Sanders, so man. Nice. Chilling, how you been? Big dog Sanders now. The big dog Sanders. How's it been? Like, I was telling all the guys, man, you guys got it. You guys got it lucky, man. You guys, uh, Coach Allen as a coach, mm -hmm. taught me how his experience been. What do you take it from learning from him? I mean, obviously, we all know he's a he's a professional NBA player. I mean, he was an NBA, so all we're just taking in everything like he's he's teaching us, and just it's a it's a privilege to have him here yeah. coaching us, and just it's amazing to have him here, just. It's telling us everything about the game, and it's always a pleasure just learning from him. And just learning every day. What's one thing that you try and take away from him as a just coach? His shooting, obviously. I mean, he, he was a great shooter, so yeah. I mean, that's one thing that we can all learn from him. And just his habits, I mean, just the daily routines and just being professional. At, his approach, his attitude, attitude, all that. All that. Jay was telling me he laced up with y'all. Uh -huh. Damn, yeah. dog. Y'all on this house. Yeah. Like, you already, oh man, yeah. I can't even put that into words. What's one, one goal you have this season? Just get a stakes. That's, get a that, that's one goal for like the team goal for me. Just working my craft each day. You know, you probably you trying to play at the next level, of course. What can you take from you guys? Are a young group this year. And you're probably one of the leaders, of course. Where do you see yourself? You know, helping lead this team to get to that next level. I mean, I see myself just, of course, just getting there day by day, helping mm -hmm. my team be great. I mean, everything that I can off the court, on the court, continue being a leader. And I feel like we do big, big things this year. Just try to stay focused and focus on the main goal. And your brothers, I know the name right now. Of you know, and you've been competing with your brother for so long and, you know, taking things from your brother. What's one thing that you took from your brother that helped you into the person you are today? Also being a leader. I mean, that's one thing he taught me, just to stay focused. Um, don't don't be with the jokey, jokey stuff during practice. Yeah. And just continue being a leader. Be myself, that's all. Be yourself. Nah, that's good, man. Hey, man, look, we're going to be here with you for practice. Appreciate you. I'm going to check out the vibes, man. I'm proud of you guys, man. Y'all boys keep going, all right? All right sir. My dog. Get to the cone. Get to the cone. Jump stop, pump fake. Just get there, you don't have to hop, don't hop. I should be looking like, how tough is it to get like, see how he did that hands-on thing, bro? Having reality as a coach is crazy, bro. It's a blessing. I know these kids appreciate it like, oh. <laughs> Railing as a coach is crazy. <laughs> these kids is lucky. For sure, for sure. Sammy, you. That's two in a row. There you go, Allie. Nice. It's a media stop. It's a media stop. Get there. Get there. Ha! Go. Attack the rim. Damn, I scared him. Oh, oh, scared him too. I got him. I got him. Oh, yeah. Ah, got him again. I scared him. He, they scared, coach. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold the ball. One of the things when you guys are going, when you're making your move, your first dribble, a lot of you is soft. So you're like this. You're like, and the ball's not coming with you. So that's why you have to watch it. You get here. I almost lost it, but I'm going hard enough. 
Get here, exaggerate, rip, ha, ha, step. If you make a mistake, if you turn the ball over, do it aggressively. When you go soft, you'll lose the ball and the defender will push you further out. And yes, it is automatic. Tor, I know you saw the move, hard pound. Okay. <laughs> Tor, stop playing with that guy. He's not one of them. <laughs> One, two, three, baseline. That didn't, getting 18 still doesn't get you 22. You're just gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna lay the ball up. You're gonna count the layup. You miss a layup, you're minus two. Around the cones. You guys got to make up two seconds. Go, go, go. Go, Paul, go. One big challenge that you have as a coach. Um, I mean, for me, probably shooting, watching these kids shoot the ball. You know, it's trying to get them to I don't want them to shoot like me, but I yeah. want them to, to... You know the basic fundamentals. Of yeah, fundamentals. just I want them to understand what it means to be a good shooter and to really go after it okay. and really always shoot the same shot. And right now, these kids, they're not committed to it. Mm -hmm. and, but then they wonder why they miss shots, you know, in game situations because they don't... You know, I walk in the gym and they're shooting these... Like, just coming to the game, they're barely jumping, they think the ball goes in and yeah. they're getting shots up. Now throw it back! There you go. Sammy, go down there. Give him a ball, Pedro. Don't be last. Don't be last. That was a close out. I'm curious to hear what you thought on that one. That wasn't a close out, right? Okay. What, what's the last thing I said? Don't let them get to the middle. Your effort was, I don't even know if I can call it that. You did just like this. You got to make an effort to get right here and force him that way. And then when he starts going, then you got to try to recover and get back in front of him. Travel. Travel. Have your feet ready. When the ball comes to you, when the ball, you travel way before that foul. When the ball comes to you, you should be right here. Your feet are already set. You don't need to move your feet after you catch the ball. Up. When you get a guy coming to the basket, come on, Alec. When you got him coming, it's okay to. You see how you can nudge him without throwing your hand out there. You could bump him, and at the same, in the same token, Denzel, come guard me. Same thing. You see, as much as you push Denzel, what's he gonna do? Yeah, he's gonna push you back. But if you never push him, he's going to push you way out there. So who's going to win that battle? Whoever fights the hardest. Good D. Lock him up. Trey, take his ass to the hole. Anthony, lock his ass up. Trey, take his ass to the hole. Lock him up. That's that Debo. <laughs> Debo. <laughs> when, you go to, when you guys go to build out, you're going like this, and then you're just opening. Yeah. It's the toll booth. Put a quarter in, you open right up. When you go right here, and he goes, you got to move your feet. You got to jump to get there. Nine times out of ten, he's not going to get low enough to get by you. And if he does, then there's somebody for help. But don't just go like this. That kills our defense. You made out of bricks? Huh? You made out of bricks? Nah, I'm a protein. <laughs> <laughs> Speed. Just 
Just let the game play out. Read the defense. Read and read. Just saying, nobody shot, nobody pump faked. How many guys can get back in front of a guy that's a great shooter, contest the shot, and then get back in front of him? Not many. There are those that can. Yeah. yeah, you see him over there feeling himself, Trey? <laughs> Jackson, thank you, Jackson. Nice, Alec. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> he ran that man over. Big as hell, bro. God damn. First, you know what blue is? Show and let him get through. You got to set the screen, Denzel. urgency and intention when you're down here running, being talk talkative. Like, I know you don't know, but you gotta, you gotta be the guy. You know, cause you're the, you're the leader for all these guys. You're the biggest guy and you gotta be uh, energetic about trying to get this stuff down. You know, but everything is like this and everybody's going like this and running through casually. This has gotta be like a game. Like every, every time we run this, it's gotta, cause we, we can't take what we're doing here and then we apply it to the game. Cause the minute they put pressure on us in the game, then we end up being further out, then we can't execute, then our shots are flat or get tired because we didn't push ourselves. Swing it! Swing it! You can't hold it! Pass! Nice pass, Jeremy. Get back in. Jeremy. You guys have to want that for yourself. It, and it can't, it's not about somebody making shots either. It's about playing defense, talking, getting back on defense, running, running your offense. You know what your offense is. It's not about can you get a bucket, it's about can you run your offense. It's not about if somebody fouled you or not. Whoop the damn dude, somebody fouled you, you missed a shot. Who cares? Run your offense. Do y'all think I fucking care about whether it's a foul or not? Really? Roll eyes, rolling your eyes, like throwing the ball in the air. I, I don't need you to say nothing. It does not matter. Sometimes we need to line up on the free throw line and see what we can do from the free throw line. Sometimes we need to take the ball out and figure out our press breaker. Where would you say your coaching philosophy comes from? Because you played for several many good coaches. So p taking your coaching style, where was your coach, where would you say your coaching style comes from? I take it from all of them. All of them, every yeah, piece. Yeah, every, right? every one all of them. Uh, when I think about plays that I ran, defenses that we that we uh, that we ran, every every coach, whether it was something we did in the shoot around or a drill that we ran, uh, I, I try to keep it different, you know, for them all the time. So. They think that they, they know what we're going to do every time, but I always give them something different, you know, just to, because I want them to shoot. Yeah. I want them to get different shots from all over the place, get them moving faster. Offensively, like, I, I got so many plays to give them, but I don't want to overload them because they're trying to, the ones that we do have, I want them to learn these really well, and then I'll start uh, integrating different stuff into it. Oh, you didn't hit anybody. Get up. I'll let you gotta get up on him. Swing it. Time 
Time out. You think it's going to be a game winner? 13, 13 to 15, five seconds. Left. He hit that shot. That was a big ass shot. I don't know. Uh, white got ball. It's white ball. I think they down too. And look who drawn up the play. <laughs> Y'all remember that corner three? <laughs> Y'all remember that <laughs> Will, you gotta rotate to that. That's you, you gotta get that. Ray Ray. Turn and look first before you dribble it. Go, Alec. Go, Alec. And you gotta get up, and that's what that's what you get. Came out, he shot in, had a little swagger to him. I like that. I like that. Shoot it, Will! Got it. Seven seconds, one, one. Suicide is crazy. Yeah. I hate suicides. 28 seconds? You can make a suicide in 28 seconds? You said no. Sign up, bro. <laughs> Clap them boys up, man. Cheer them boys on, bro. <laughs> Cheer them boys on. Like, all of it, all of this is a huge, it's a challenge. It's, it's, it's to test what you have deep down inside of you. And if you get emotional every time we try to go there, we can't win. We can't compete. Because it's a personal attack on somebody every time that we try to challenge you, you, you kind of put your fists up and you want to fight it. We, we're trying to go there for a reason on purpose. To get that ugliness out of you that weakness, that emotional little kid, that immature little kid. It's in all of us. I've been touched, I've been tested. I've had to go to, to my demons and, and kind of try to figure out a way to make a deal with them and keep them away from you know, making me weak. That's the only reason why I've been able to do the things that I've done in my career. And that's what I'm trying to do for all of you. It's, in the long run, it's gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna pay off and you're gonna understand you know, what it is that who you've become and what you've had to kind of negotiate or, or, or jump over. But in practice today, it, I've seen it in, in like the starting five the whole time. Will's challenging you, you, gotta, you think you got fouled and you know, I didn't blow the whistle. Like you guys get mad at me for no reason. You're only hurting yourself. Like we have to be past that, fellas. That's gonna show how strong and resilient we are to be able to move through those things because we've done it. We've, we're, this is the whole point. This is what this practice floor is all about. Raiders, family.
congratulations on the coaching move. I know it's big for you. What would you say was one big transition from even your play style and even coach and getting into coaching on a high school level? I think just trying to get these kids how to think the game differently from what they've taken it over the last, uh, their lives uh, for the most part. Um, they want to they wanna play this playground style of uh, basketball and they don't really understand what it means to move the ball, like create a rhythm on offense, uh, how to play, uh, you know, an uh, uh, unselfish style of basketball. Yeah. Uh, it's very foreign to them and they fight it uh, every single day. So it's, um, it's a challenge, but I enjoy it because when, they, when you see them do things in the game, it, it looks it looks different, and I think you know their families. A lot of people see their growth, and, and that for me is what it's all about. Jay told me you turn, you get into your little Jesus Shuttleworth bag, and you laced up with him sometimes. So yeah, I do. <laughs> well, it was interesting because we first uh, when we first started, we only had sometimes we had like eight, nine players in practice because okay. uh, we had a couple injuries, and you know now we got football guys here, so um, I had to. You know, and, and you know for you know for over the last year, like when I get to gym with the guys. I had to just kind of go through showing the drill so they knew what the what the motor looked like. Mm -hmm. Like you don't just go through a dr drill; they kind of flow through it. They even did that during the five and over day mm -hmm. when they're just going through the motions yeah. and they understand like run the plays full time, full speed. So when the game happens, you don't have to level up. You just do what you've been doing, how you've been doing it. You know, you're a dad of you know your son. How is it coaching him? You know, I, um, it's it's pretty good. I. It, for me, it, it, I, it, we've been working with, on the jump shot for a long time, and I think it's been it's been rewarding. This is the only reason why that I'm here doing it, um, and and he still has a lot to learn. But the one thing I never have to worry about with him is his, his energy, his effort. You know, so that to me is the one thing I tell them that, that they, they can do wrong if they don't bring that to the floor. He brings it every time, so um, he he definitely rubs off on the rest of the guys. Coach, you know, one thing I preach is like, you know, the everyday where kids understanding that every day they should embrace grinding and stuff like that. There, yeah, I seen the kids. You've got a good, a good young, young unit here. Uh, me and Tor appreciate you for letting us come and film you guys. Yeah, thank you guys for coming. Appreciate, yeah, it. appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yeah. And I got my tens on, man. Me and Coach got yeah, ten tens. <laughs> we didn't even call each other. Yeah. <laughs>